good morning, planet Earth. It's uh, Wednesday. No, it's not. It's Tuesday, March 12th. Um, no, March 19th. And uh, I want to first and foremost congratulate and welcome the incoming class of 2017. Props to all of you uh, high school seniors who applied and were admitted to MIT in the, uh, for the, the new class. Uh, the admission rate was a record low of 8.2%, uh, so very competitive. Um, of course, the admission rate goes down every year because more and more people apply, and that's what happens to percentages if you continue to admit the same number of people and more people apply. Yay! Regardless, congratulations. Um, update in my life. Uh, you recall that, uh, if you watched the last video, um, that I signed up for something like seven classes, uh, and I, I asked how many classes you think I'd finish this semester with, and some of you were doubtful that I would be finishing with all seven, and you were right to be skeptical, uh, for I have dropped well, I'm going to drop. I haven't actually submitted the form, but I, I'm, I've stopped doing anything for uh, three of the classes so far. But I've also added a class, kind of. So I, I uh, dropped, and here's my logic. I'll explain each one. So I, I am not doing uh, number theory because of all the P-sets. So I did really enjoy the P-sets for that class. But of all the P-sets I had, those tended to be the most random amount of time spent. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, in that, the problems were, I, I, find, I find this for a lot of like legit actual math classes is when you're like trying to do proofs and stuff, is that if you don't see the, the trick, then you can stare at it for a long time and it won't get you any further until you eventually see the trick. Um, and so I found that doing the P-sets would, I'd be able to do some of the problems like, just instantly, like look at them and be like, oh yeah, okay, prove it, bam, done. But other ones I'd look at and think about and think about and go and do other stuff and then come back to it and eventually I'd get them, but it was just very time consuming and taking all the classes I was taking, I didn't have the time to do that, um, even though I'd like to, um, but it's definitely a, a subject that I'm going to come back to in the future, um, because I've always kind of been interested in number theory and did a little bit of it in high school and enjoyed it. Um, and I do really enjoy that kind of thinking, and in a more relaxed environment, I think it's something that I really would ver enjoy very much. Um, I dropped GR... No. I dropped nuclear and particle physics because of all the classes I was doing, and this one seemed to be almost an afterthought. Uh, I, I was doing number theory, GR, string theory, very interesting. Um, and then this piece, I was like, oh, I just gotta get this done, get this out of the way, just finish this real quick before bed or something. Um, and it, so I, and uh, what well, was the other reason? There's another reason. Um, I don't remember the other reason. There was another reason though. But regardless, um, so I, I dropped that. And then I had string theory and GR left. And GR was giving me trouble because it was at the same time, I think I mentioned this, it's, it conflicted with my lab. So I couldn't go to all the lectures. And the class does not follow a textbook nicely. It, there's not, uh, whereas like string theory, for example, is essentially just the lectures fall perfectly with uh, Zwieback, Zwieback, I don't know how to say his name, his book. Uh, his chapter one, lecture one, you know, chapter two, lecture two, essentially. Um, the general relativity class did not do that, um, and so when I missed lectures, I was in a lot of trouble. I couldn't do this stuff. I'd have to spend a lot of time trying to find it in the book so I could learn it. Um, it was just, it was very inefficient. Um, and so I was like, all right, Maybe this isn't the best use of my time, so I dropped it. Uh, and 
uh, so I have left my nuclear lab, um, my education class, um, philosophy of law, string theory, and TAing 802. And what I did was I actually added a second section of 802. One of them I'm getting paid for, and the other one I'm doing for credit, uh, for nine units of credit. So I am now TAing two sections of 802, which means I spend 10 hours a week in the teal classroom uh, TAing. Um, so it's actually a lot of fun. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, all the students are great. And uh, it's nice to kind of review the material of this class, um, which I haven't haven't seen in two years, two and a half years, since sophomore fall, I believe. That's when I did 802. Um, but so that's cool. Um, I'm and I'm, I'm I'm rediscovering. So okay, so uh, prefacing this, there's going to be I'm going to be writing uh, as you know I write for the tech I'm an opinion columnist. I'm going to be writing a review of MIT. I'm going to be re reviewing several different aspects of MIT, the good, the bad, its education, uh, what I think about it, many different aspects of the institute. Um, and one of the things I'm going to touch on is, is this. So I think I mentioned that over IEP when I was teaching, one of the aspects of it which I enjoyed was that when I came home, I largely was able to not worry about work. And in general, this is in the real world, this is referred to work-life balance. And at MIT, there's not really much of it. Um, and one of the things I'm kind of rediscovering this semester, well, it's just, it's, it's really nice to have a balance. Could I have done seven classes? I honestly do think I could have. Um, for two or three weeks, I did turn in all four P-sets, I did all the papers and everything, I was finishing everything, but the price that I paid for that was that I was just in my room all the time working. And that's not what I want to do. Um, I mean, I, eventually down the road I'd like to go to grad school for physics anyways. I don't need to cram it all into a semester. Um, and what I'm discovering this semester is kind of dropping those some of those heavier classes I'm having time, I'm able to write more opinion columns for the tech. I've come up with four or five, I think, already this semester. Um, I am, you know, seeing the entry, doing things here, um, and, and I have some time to kind of rekindle some of my old interests, which I haven't really had time to do since high school. Uh, so that's been really nice. Um, so it's, I, I, don't, I don't feel bad about, about dropping them. Uh, I, I mean, I think it's unfortunate because they were interesting, um, but I think that it's worth it, uh, without a doubt. So uh, whether or not I keep string theory, we'll see. Um, but uh, either way, I'm better off now than I was a month ago. Um, in other news, some of you have noticed I have passed the 1,000 subscriber mark. So thank you to everyone who subscribes to these videos for your support, your loyalty, and your interest in these videos in this channel. Um, I, you know, obviously, I, I wouldn't really, I mean, the purpose of this is for you guys, so I'm glad that it apparently is serving some role for you, and some of you find this interesting. So I, I'm glad. Thank you. Please continue to watch me. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Um, so that that's exciting. Uh, and I think that's about it for now. Um, this is a pretty big update. Uh, but now that I, you know, I, I should have a little bit more free time. So hopefully the amount of time until the next video will be less than a month. Uh, I'm starting to put out feelers for, for jobs since I have to get a job uh, because that's what people do after school in the real world and stuff. So uh, I'm doing that. And I will up to keep you updated on how that, that goes. And until then, I am going to go to bed. Because I have to wake up tomorrow at yeah, it's 10. And this is definitely this semester I'm waking up the earliest. Every day I wake up at either 9 or 10 o'clock. Which my whole time at MIT is unprecedented. I've never done that. Um, so that kind of things. But it's okay. I wake up to, to the team. So that's all for now, folks.
Thanks for tuning in. Congrats again, class of 2017. Subscribe, like, and comment. That's not usually the order you hear them, but that's okay. Peace.